Hey guys, Andy here, and I'm coming at you today with a video that uh, is my pile of shame. These are going to be, I'm just going to be showing you all of my palettes that have been in my collection for a good minute now that I've never used. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, there's nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. There's nine palettes here that I've never used, never touched. These are my pile of shame and I'm going to be leaving these on my desk and it's going to be my mission from now until the, I have until December. I'm giving myself that end date that I have to use these palettes by December and get my thoughts on them to rank them in my end of the year ranking of all of my palettes. That is my goal. So you guys better hold me to that. So if you want to see what random nine palettes in my collection have just been chilling, then let's go ahead and get into it. And as always, if you want to know what's on my face for my pride look that I'm wearing, that'll be in the description box. So let's just go ahead and get into it. <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm just going to start off from like smallest palette, which I have three nine pans, four nine pans. And then we'll have those three, and then those two are the biggest. So, I have from Makeup Revolution in the Beetlejuice collection, this is the I Myself Am Strange and Unusual palette. It's the bug the mirror is a bug which i love but this is the color story all i've done for any of these palettes is swatch them i have not used them on the face and as far as i can remember these have all swatched really well i really liked the color story of this i wanted to get the other palette too at my walmart but they were sold out so i was like i'm getting this palette but i just still haven't used it I have three Jeffree Star palettes in this whole pile of shame. I have the mini controversy here, which I think I've used like this inner corner shade as a highlight, but I haven't used this palette as a whole, so I need to do that. I also have the weirdo palette, which has a beautiful silver in it. So I need to test out this red row here and see how that performs. And then the last nine pan, this is my most recent one. This is from Ofra and Jessica Tollett. I'm probably pronouncing that horribly. This is the Infinite palette. And this is what this looks like. And I've never tried. It's got a beautiful mirror in it. I've never tried Ofra's eyeshadow formula, so I am excited to give this one a go. So that is all the nine pans that are in my pile of shame. And I think the one I'm most excited to try would be the Ofra one because I just know nothing about their eyeshadow formula. And then I have one eight pan, which this is from Estate Cosmetics. This is the fall edit. I got this in an Ipsy and just haven't used it, but I love these shades. Again, I know it's swatched really nice. I just haven't put it to use. I have a 12 pan palette. This is my ColourPop and Powerpuff Girls palette. Haven't used this yet. I have a 14 pan palette. This is the ABH and Riviera palette. I've never used this one. I got it at TJ Maxx and it's just been sitting in my collection. And then I have two big palettes. I have the Jeffree Star Bloodlust, which this is what? An 18 pan? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, this is an 18 pan. So this is what Bloodlust looks like. I think I've used one or two shades, but like I've never played with the palette as a whole and done a color story with it. I really want to try out this red and this like tealy green. And like this shade calls to my name, but the purples and the pinks are really, really pretty. I love the packaging on this. The felt is really, really pretty. 
And then the last palette is the Morphe 35C Everyday Chic. This is my newest palette. I got this at TJ Maxx. And that is what this looks like. I wanted this palette for since it came out, since I saw the color story. But I don't really like Morphe's formula. I have the shade names written down and it looks janky, but... It bothers me that when Morphe comes out with these palettes that the shade names are on that stupid plastic sheet that you just throw away. Like, you, you can't tell me you couldn't have put them on the back. Or, you know, put them underneath the shades like everyone else does. But I just think the color story of this palette is so spring to me with the, like, lilac -y purples and, like, this shade of green just screams spring to me and like these two palettes I feel like would go really well together so these like I said these are going to live on my desk I'm gonna put them very very nicely right over here I'm gonna move that brush and you guys are going to make sure that I use these by December. That is the goal. While, con while continue to still using my Pan That palette and my other palettes that are in my ColourPop Project Pan. That is still, that is, that is the whole goal. <laughs> but, yeah, that is... That is everything. Um, this is a short and sweet video. I thought I had more palettes in my little pile of shame, but doing uh, when I did the collection selection over on TikTok in 2021 to 2022, where I was doing a random palette every day, that made me use a lot of my palettes, which if you guys would like to see that over here on YouTube as YouTube shorts, let me know in the comments. Um, because I could pick a palette every day and do a look as a short. So then, you know, we could have double the content that way because that would be super awesome. Because I could start with these nine palettes and then go into it being random after I get through these nine palettes because those need to be used first and foremost because some of these palettes, like that Riviera palette, I've had for over a year and I've never used it. And that makes me feel like crap. <laughs> and that is why my partner is like, you cannot buy more makeup. It's for reasons like that. <laughs> but anywho... If you also have a pile of shame, let me know how many palettes are in your pile of shame. Please give me solidarity in the comments down below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.